Today, I'm going to show you the best 4-3-3-4 tactics so you can get the most out of your wingers offensively and defensively. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like. Make sure you subscribe. We've just hit 700 subscribers. The next target is 800. Let's get into the video. For cheap and reliable FC24 coins, make sure you check out fifacoin.com using the code NLG for 5% off. 4334 tactics are not something I normally use, but this one, it actually does work quite well. I normally struggle with using just one striker, but in this formation, the way we have it set up, the wingers kind of um, help you out massively in terms of the attack and defensively help you out massively when you get in counter attack as well. So this is my team for anyone that wants to see it, but we're going to get straight into the custom tactics. Uh, right, so defensive style... We have it set to balanced, and the reason for that is is because we want to be able to have full control of our defenders or as much co uh, control as possible. So if we want to press, we can initiate the press um, as much as we need to, and we can also move them, keep them in the right position, and not. I don't know about you, but when I defend on the game, sometimes <clears throat> I've found that a lot of my players just randomly go into different positions and also open up so many gaps. So with the balanced defensive style, I always find that it helps me to have more control and for that to happen less. Uh, whip we have on 50. Uh, for me, I just think that's quite balanced in terms of your players staying in position, not being too wide, but not too, being obviously too compact as well. It's quite in the middle as it is because it's 50 out of 100. Uh, it works quite well. And I think in this, in this formation, it works really well as well in terms of how it's set up. And as you'll know when we get into the player instructions, we do have the left wing and right wing to come back. So it basically puts it into like a, a four, a four five. And with this width, I feel like it's perfect for when you're trying to win the ball back. Depth. Now, I'm going to have to clarify this. If you play an old gen like me, use what you think is preferable for what you like. Um, I use normally about 50, 60, mainly about 60. But if you're on new gen, 71, which I've found out from people telling me I don't play old uh, new gen, sorry. Um, 71 is actually a broken to the point where it enables a automatic AI press, but to the point where, like, it doesn't affect your player's stamina as much. So it's not the same as, say, being on press on heavy touch or constant pressure or anything like that. So we'd have to balance defensive style and then have 71 uh, depth on your defensive tactics. It'll help you massively because you'll have an AI press, but it also won't affect your, um, your stamina too much. So if you're, on, if you're on new gen, make sure you've got that. If you're on old gen, use about 60. That's what I would personally use, and I always find that works quite well. Anything from 40 to 60 is what I think is the soft spot. For me, it's always between 50 and 60, but you pick and choose as you think best fits the, the way you play. <coughs> uh, build a play we have unbalanced. Uh, the reason why we have unbalanced is because I like me players to, again, as I mentioned with the defensive style, I like to have more control over me players, and I feel like we're balanced. Um, I, <laughs> you can obviously you can have a look at the, different, the alternatives. You've got long ball, fast build-up, slow build-up. When you're unbalanced... You've got a mixture of all of them, and also you can add like your own little style into it for your players to where to get them to move. And it also, in my opinion, doesn't drag your players out to the positions where they're meant to be. It also helps with the custom um, tactics for the instructions on the players. So I always have it unbalanced. Direct passing is so basically your players are getting the right passes, and the ball is doing a movement for them. But also, it helps with the chance creation for what i find when in the in-game uh, instructions that we've got on the players we have our left wing and right wing to get into the box on crosses i feel like direct passing works quite well for your players to be in the right positions and for them to pass efficiently when you are trying to get them wingers involved as well um that's why i've gone with that if you want to go with something different you can do so but i feel like balanced I, not as much as i like using balance for certain things for this i don't think it works possession i don't think possession's great for when you're using your wingers um, I feel like that's more of a tactic that you would use for maybe, you know, a 4 2 three, one or a 5 to back or something like that. Forward runs can work, maybe, but I feel like that works better when you've got two strikers. So, for me, I go for direct passing. With, I have it on 60. I like to be a little bit wider than normal with my wingers so they can stay quite wide. Um, it works best for me. If you want to knock it down a little bit to 50, I wouldn't go any higher. Plays in the box, we have four. For me, I have my wingers, my striker, and my cam getting into the box. That's what I like to have. Quarters of free kicks, as I always say. I always have them in one each and the basis for that is so we don't get counter attack and see goals i find that if you have it on quite high if you give the ball away you're pretty much almost certain so at least give away a very good chance or can see the goal so that's what i have it on 
Um, yeah, Padel Tactics. Let's go into instructions. We're going to start off with the striker I have on Stay Central. Um, and then I don't touch anything else. Literally just Stay Central. For me, it works quite well. I want my striker to stay there. I want the wingers and my camps to do all the work to get the ball into the box to him and stuff like that. I have both of my wingers on comeback and defence. I also have them on cut inside. Um, especially, um, I need to change my wingers over. I don't know why it's gone like that. But I will have Vinny playing on the right and then Di Maria playing on the left. He can cut in and get the Cervella shot off as well. Um, I also have them on get in the box, get into the box for crosses. And the reason for that is, if it, a lot of these will know, a lot of people play quite sweaty and they'll cut the ball back. And having the options in the middle of your other winger to then have the extra person in the box and your cam and your striker, it just gives that little extra chance of getting another goal or just get, it gives you the better opportunities to have more players in the box without bringing the rest of your team, your midfield and defence out of position and then make yourself vulnerable for the counter-attack. Um, for the cam, we have on getting the box across again. Again, a lot of people with this would just have it on you know, maybe balanced and maybe they might change it as well, stay forward or even come back on defence. I like to have it on getting the box of the cross. Again, some people, if they have it on balance, they might think that they can, the cam is then more free to, you know, do more in terms of like control the game, drop into different pockets and stuff like that, drop back. I prefer them to get into the box, like I said. When I know I'm going down the wing at one of my wingers, I know I'm going to have three players getting into the box and it gives me a better opportunity, but I've still got my midfielders uh, there at times to create that little safety net so we don't get counted. Uh, left... Centre mid, I'm right centre mid, slightly different. I have one of them on balance. I have one of them on um, stay back while attacking. Again, just for me, I have, again, as we spoke about in the other tactics of, on the other videos, I like to have one staying back. I like to have one that can have the freedom if I need to do so or they need to do so to get forwards. Um, and I would normally have that as more, me more attacking player. Lorente will be that one in this case. Um, and then on both of them, I also have cover centre as well. Um, and the reason for that is, is because, again, as I mentioned before, we have the left wing and right wing to come back on defence, which basically turns the midfield into a 4-5-1. And then you've got your right mid. It's basically a right mid and left with defending. Um, and then you don't need them to cover the wings. You don't need them to get over to that side. Um, it's as simple as that. That's why I have it like that. Left back and right back, the same as the 4 2 3 one tactics. Um, I have them on stay back while attacking, and I also have them on overlap. So that's one of the reasons why we don't have to whip too much, especially defensively, but... On the whip of um, offense on 60, I feel like you've still got enough space. You can have it different. You can have it inverted. If you want to put your wingers a little bit wider on your offense and have it on maybe 70. And then maybe don't have them overlapping and instead put them on inverted. You could do that and then you could maybe go into the middle, create more chances than you've got. You can kind of like create more chances by like, dropping into the pockets. Similar to the way we see loads of teams doing it now with like Zinchenko, Trent Alexander-Arnold, John Stones and players like that. But for me, I have them on overlap because I feel like it creates that little chance when you need to do so. Get them round your wingers and just gives you that extra little bit of whip. Um, but yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. I don't touch me goalkeepers or I mean my goalkeeper or my centre backs at all. Um, it works quite well. Again, I'm not someone that normally uses one striker formations, but I am starting to find some better tactics that actually work. Let me know if you would do anything different with these. Let me know if it works for you as well in the comments. Um, like I said. I've found that this works quite well. It won't be one that I use all the time, but when I do need to, it is a little bit fun to use. And as well, it's worth giving it a try. See what you can um, find to change. Because I found this year, some of the tactics and formations that I'm seeing that I'm trying myself and not working. So the more you try and the more you try and work with different tactics and formations, you'll find the right one for you. And this one might be the one for you. Say with the 44 and the 4312. 4312 for me personally, the best ones I use that I prefer to use anyway. This is very good. Give it a try. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like. Make sure you subscribe. We're on our way to 800 subscribers. Um, don't forget to check out fifacoin.com. Link in the description. And I will see you all later.